Bob Keeshan was an American actor best known for his iconic portrayal of the beloved children's television character, Captain Kangaroo. Keeshan's warm and gentle demeanor made him a favorite among children and adults alike, and his show was a staple of American television for decades. In addition to his work as Captain Kangaroo, Keeshan had a long and varied career in television and theater, and he was widely respected in the entertainment industry for his talent, creativity, and dedication to his craft. He was born on June 27, 1927, in Lynbrook, Long Island, New York, and was known as Robert James Keeshan. Joseph Keeshan, a grocery store manager, and Margaret Frances Keeshan, a homemaker, were his parents. Keeshan was the third child among four siblings. After finishing high school, Keeshan joined the United States Marine Corps and served in World War II. His bravery in combat earned him the Purple Heart and the Silver Star. Once the war was over, Keeshan went on to study under the guidance of Lee Strasberg, a legendary acting teacher at Fordham University. When Keeshan was just six years old, his family moved to Forest Hills, New York, and their prosperity was on the rise. However, their fortunes changed in 1940 when the Safeway chain purchased the Daniel Reeves store and his father lost his job. The family began to struggle financially. Unfortunately, in 1943, Keeshan's mother passed away due to a coronary thrombosis. At the age of 17, while still a high school senior, Keeshan had to find a job to help make ends meet. He landed a job as a page at the National Broadcasting Company and worked from 5 o'clock in the afternoon until midnight, earning $13.50 per week. After work, he would rush home to complete his homework, sleep for a few hours, and then head back to school in the morning. After serving in the military and being discharged in 1946, Keishan returned home to live with his father and new stepmother. He went back to work at National Broadcasting Company and was given a position on a quiet and isolated floor of the studio where he could keep up with his reading. However, one night Buffalo Bob Smith, the host of a popular children's radio show called the Triple B Ranch, asked Keishan to help out. Keishan agreed and this introduction to acting became the start of his long career in broadcasting. Bob Keeshan made his first television appearance on Puppet Playhouse in January 1948, which was later renamed The Howdy Doody Show. He landed the role of Clarabelle, a silent clown. In 1950, Keeshan married Anne Jean Laurie, who worked as a receptionist at the American Broadcasting Company. She quit her job after their marriage to take care of their three children. Keeshan stopped pursuing his pre-law studies at Fordham University because he was earning a good salary working in television. Unfortunately, Keeshan was fired from the Howdy Doody show in 1952 due to a disagreement with Bob Smith over an agent. He spent several months unemployed until he was offered the role of Corny the Clown, the host of a local morning television show called Time for Fun. Keeshan believed that his show could help busy families during breakfast time. Keeshan's popularity increased rapidly, and in 1953, he returned to local television on American Broadcasting Company Television, Channel 7 in New York City, in a new children's show called Time for Fun. Unlike his previous role, Keeshan played a speaking Corny the Clown. Later that year, he created Tinker's Workshop, a program aimed at preschoolers where he played the grandfather-like Tinker. In 1954, Keishan was presented with the opportunity to create his own show in just four days. Keishan worked around the clock to create Tinker's Workshop, a one-hour ad-libbed program. The character Tinker was a Swiss toy maker modeled after Pinocchio's father, Geppetto. Tinker's Workshop became very popular and was the precursor to Keishan's most famous role, Captain Kangaroo. The show was a success from the start, surpassing the Jack Parr show in its first round of ratings and capturing a larger New York audience than the Today Show. Keishan's commitment to put in the audience's welfare before that of the sponsor became a trademark of his best-known character, Captain Kangaroo. At the age of 28, Keishan, wearing a gray wig and whiskers, taped the first episode of Captain Kangaroo in July 1955. The show aired in October of that year, and for the next 30 years, the captain, in his nautical cap and signature coat with its kangaroo pockets, became a beloved figure. 
he introduced generations of children to the wonders of science, literature, and music in his treasure house. Captain Kangaroo was not just any ordinary children's television show. It was an institution that provided educational and entertaining content to young viewers, promoting curiosity, imagination, and a love of learning. Bob Keeshan's warm and engaging personality made him a role model for generations of children. He was committed to creating a positive and safe environment for kids that was unwavering. Keeshan, gentle and avuncular, educated, informed, and entertained his audiences with the help of his human and puppet friends. There was Mr. Green Jeans, Bunny Rabbit, Mr. Moose, Dancing Bear, and Grandfather Clock. These characters were an essential part of the show as they helped teach valuable life lessons and skills to children. Once the Federal Trade Commission ruled against children's show hosts directly endorsing their sponsors' products during their programs after 1969, Bob Keeshan introduced a new character on Captain Kangaroo to recommend Schwinn products named Mr. Schwinn Diller. By 1972, this character had made its debut. However, as the years went by, Columbia Broadcasting System kept reducing the show's airtime, and Keeshan grew tired of it. He eventually left Captain Kangaroo when his contract with the network ended in December 1984, just nine months short of the show's 30th anniversary. Despite leaving the show, Keeshan continued to have a presence on television. In 1985, he hosted Columbia Broadcasting System Story Break, an animated series that featured children's literature. He appeared in framing sequences for the animated stories, promoting the book versions and suggesting similar books for viewers to check out. In 1987, Public Broadcasting Service began airing daily reruns of Captain Kangaroo, allowing a new generation of children to experience the magic and education of the beloved show. Even after his departure from the program, Bob Keeshan's impact on children's television continued to be felt. Bob Keeshan was the recipient of numerous awards and honorary degrees throughout his career. In 1980, he was bestowed with the Television Father of the Year Award, while in 1987, he received the Francis Holman Breathitt Award for excellence from the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts. However, Keeshan's life took a sudden turn in 1981 when he suffered a severe heart attack immediately after arriving in Toronto Pearson International Airport. The attack caused the start of his show's revamped version to be postponed until at least mid-August. Keishin had traveled to Toronto to accept a children's service award. The renowned television personality underwent triple bypass surgery, receiving an outpouring of love and support from his fans who sent him an estimated 5,000 get well wishes during his hospitalization. Bob Keishin, known for his beloved character, Captain Kangaroo, received three Emmy Awards for Outstanding Performer in 1982, 1983, and 1984, following his severe heart attack in 1981. Despite his success, Keishin's show was shortened to 30 minutes in 1981 to accommodate the expansion of Columbia Broadcasting System Morning News. In the 1990s, Keishin expressed his desire to revive Captain Kangaroo as a gentle and wholesome alternative to the violent cartoons prevalent in children's programming. He had lined up sponsors and television stations, but was unable to obtain permission from International Creative Management, the company that owned the rights to Captain Kangaroo at that time. He was married to Anne Jean Laurie Keishin for 45 years, and they raised three children together, Michael Derrick, Laurie Margaret, and Maeve Jean. Unfortunately, Anne Jean passed away on February 25, 1996. Bob continued to work in the entertainment industry and remained beloved by fans. However, he faced a long illness in his later years. On January 23, 2004, Bob Keeshan passed away at Mount Escutney Hospital in Windsor, Vermont. He was 76 years old. Fans of Captain Kangaroo and the many other shows he worked on mourned his loss. Bob Keeshan's contributions to children's television and his positive impact on generations of viewers will not be forgotten. He was laid to rest in St. Joseph Cemetery in Babylon, New York. Goodbye and rest in peace, Bob Keeshan, and thank you for the memories.